Hey, it's Drew from Playing With Sticks. I'm going to be taking you through one of the most popular trailers on the market today, actually on the road today, and that is the Tab 320S from New Camp RV. As usual, stick around. I'll share three things I like about this trailer and three things I think can be improved, some of them being probably a deal breaker for many of you. And then, as usual, I'll share similar trailers in the market to give you a better idea of what's out there. This is a special episode for me. I finally got the chance to meet Mandy Lee. I think you're really going to like this one. Hey everyone, Mandy Lee with Mandy Lee Photo here. Uh, my husband Kendrick and I have been living in the New Camp Teardrops for over five years and we love to share our knowledge on our YouTube channel and at our rallies. I'm here with New Camp RV today showing off some of our teardrop trailers. If you've never seen one, I want to give you a tour of our middle size, the mama bear I guess if you will. This is the Tab 320. Now this model is our boondock edition which is a little bit more rugged so it's going to come with this platform which is super sturdy you can strap anything you want on here a lot of people put a generator or jug of water um, in the tongue box up here is where your propane tank will go it's big enough you can fit two propane tanks and still have room for a little extra storage for all that other stuff another little platform here just all the storage you could possibly want a lot of people ask what these are. These are actually handles because this little camper is so light that you can actually park it, unhook it, and you can just reposition it around wherever you want. Coming around the side, we've got our classic door with our classic little hobbit hole and a beautiful, super sturdy step right here. Um, really easy to get up and down. On the Boondock Edition, you're gonna have larger 15 inch tires which um, they're off-road tires and it gives you an extra six inches of clearance there. So you can pretty much take this guy anywhere. Moving on, we've got two um, outdoor 110 outlets, as well as a lagoon mount for the table that is on the inside. You can bring that outside, mount it to the side and have a nice little cocktail table. On the Boondock Edition, they've added this aluminum frame here. It's a bumper cover that kind of helps you keep from backing into those trees or at least protect your camper when you do back into a tree. This is tight back here, but the last thing I'll show you. On the driver's side of the camper is everything to regulate our water system. It comes with the hose that connects to this, so it's an outdoor shower. You've got hot and cold, um, and then they made it super easy to understand how you fill your camper, how you drain it, how you winterize it, and they have little diagrams, so it's just like anybody can do it. Uh, right here, we've got our 30 amp plug. Very easy, and then finally, this is the wall outside of our bathroom because in the bathroom they have upgraded to a cassette toilet which is super awesome all you have to do is pull your cassette out and dump it anywhere you need to dump it you can go in a porta potty you can go in a toilet you can go in a regular rv dump it makes it so much easier than dealing with a black tank coming into our lovely little camper here you have everything you need from a kitchen bathroom dining room bedroom um, so starting here in our lovely kitchen, um, you've got this nice high faucet sink. It's really deep, so it's easy to do your dishes in here. Then we have a two burner stove right there. Works off of the propane. And right below that is a really efficient isotherm refrigerator. It's a two way fridge that'll run off of your shore power or your 12 volt. Um, it also has a little mini freezer in here. I know it's small, but when you want that one tray of ice, it's totally worth it. New Camp has definitely taken advantage of every little nook and cranny. And there are these nice large cabinets in the kitchen to keep all your food and dishes, as well as some extra cabinets up top here. Moving on, we have our bathroom, which they have switched from the glass door to a wood door so that, you know, you don't have to look through it at your partner. There's this really fancy and I'm told extremely comfortable Thetford cassette toilet. It's a five gallon cassette toilet. So all you have to do is take that out and empty it when you need to. Right above the toilet is a sink. You can wash your hands and the nozzle pulls up and hooks to the wall to create a shower and the whole thing is a wet bath so you can sit on the toilet if you're too tall and uh, clean yourself off or if you're short like me you can stand what is the height in there would you say see it goes up the floor is elevated so i am five three i'd say five four 
And then onto my favorite room of the house, the living room. Um, the U-shaped couch is awesome. We have often sat six adults in here. I know it seems crazy, but you can really comfortably seat a lot of people. Um, this is the lagoon table that, as I mentioned, you can move this to the outside of the camper if you would rather have it on the outside. Um, and then, of course, when you sleep, this lagoon table is going to go down. The back of the seats also go down. And then these all come together. So you get a really nice, large, large bed area to sleep in. Um, there are cabinets pretty much everywhere you could put a cabinet. There are shelves and nooks and crannies everywhere you can put a shelf. Another great area for storage is back behind these seats. It goes all the way down to the floor. So you have a lot of storage there. You can keep bedding, clothing, anything you need. And that's pretty easy to get to as well. It also comes with a really nice stereo system. You can hook up Bluetooth through it so you can listen to music. Um, it's got a TV, so if you want to hook up anything HDMI, which I know isn't really ideal for camping, but on those rainy days, I know you're going to want to watch a movie, and you can do that comfortably in here. Every unit is going to come with a fantastic fan, which if you have your windows cracked and you turn on that um, fan, it's going to really circulate air because it's such a small space. It works really efficiently. A little bit under the hood, um, there is an air conditioning unit that is vented and pumped throughout the unit. It also comes with the Aldi heating system, which is going to provide a radiant heat. And in this unit, you could be too hot in the snow. Trust me, it's happened. Um, and it also provides hot water, um, so you can take a hot shower. What about the updated floor in this model? Oh, yeah. And finally, if you get a 22 or newer model, they have updated the subfloor. It's now a lighter weight material that is also uh, more insulating. So you're not going to lose as much heat uh, or cold when you're, uh, when you're out in extreme weather. Let's hit those three things I like about this trailer. Number one, I love the idea that you can just drive to your nearest RV lot and pick up one of these over the weekend. Now that sounds like a strange thing to like, but we are living in strange times. Yeah, I'm calling about the trailer I want. Number two, I've really come to appreciate the craftsmanship of these trailers. Anytime anyone's talking about a new camp RV, they typically talk about the Amish craftsmanship. Now, Mandy didn't mention it in this video, so I will mention it. The lighting wasn't very good, so I wasn't able to show you the details, but the cabinets inside this little camper are truly second to none. Speaking of Amish craftsmanship, I really like this one. It only takes one horsepower to pull a Shasta. And number three, you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of converting an eating area into a bed and back again later in the day, but I do appreciate this bed because not only do you have one solid bed configuration, you also have the ability to split it in two. And I think this taps into something somewhere within the bro code. 38A section one, when sleeping on the ground in a tent with your bro, you are allowed to sleep shoulder to shoulder. Spooning is even allowed in extreme hypothermic conditions. However, if sharing a bed, be it in a home or in a camper, the bed must have ample space for at least 12 inches distance between the bros, or preferably two separate beds. It's time for the three things I would improve on this trailer. Number one, let's talk about the height. The inside interior height of this trailer is five foot nine inches. The outside exterior height from ground to the top of the trailer is seven foot eight inches. Just think about those two. Do you remember my meerkat video out at Little Guy Trailers in San Diego? And I talked about the funnel, how they walk into this company and they see the tab trailers and they see the Intec trailers and all the other trailers on the market. What I noticed is the whole time I was down at Little Guy Trailers, only one trailer left the lot that wasn't a meerkat. I mean, all these people came in to either get a teardrop or get a stand-up trailer and they left with this trailer. Okay, did you do the math with those numbers? Five foot eight inside, seven foot eight outside? So you're saying I can't stand up fully inside this trailer. Yet when I take it home, I can't fit this inside a standard garage. 
Well, at least I can shower. I think I can get used to this. Ow! Number two, and I beat this horse a lot. It's pretty dead right now, and that is indoor cooking. I'm not a fan. I prefer to cook outside, but there is an option from New Camp RV, and I'll share it in a moment, where you can cook outside. But first, let's talk about the indoor cooking. If you were to establish an indoor cooking area, I feel like New Camp put it in the right spot. Now, if you check out our Scamp versus Vintage Trailer video, I talk about how the Scamp cooking is on the side. This narrows the walking area. It brings the cooking closer to your bed. Grease and smells. Having a cooking area in the front just opens up the layout and it has a more smooth transition. It just moves and feels and works better as a family. But if it was up to me, like I said, I wouldn't have it in the inside. And so New Camp heard that from the community and they made a version of this 320 called the Tab CSS, standing for clamshell model. This means you have a rear galley kitchen, just like a teardrop trailer, where you can do it all outside, no grease, no smells inside, and giving you that outdoor experience you want. Now, if I could do an upgrade for that CSS, maybe keeping both. Why not have a galley that opens up in the back that you cook out of, but on rainy days, you still have the option to cook up front. Just an idea. Number three, and a lot of you get mad at me for this, and that is the bathroom inside. Now I hear a lot of you say, you know, when you're a senior, you're going to want this, you're going to need this, Drew, you just don't understand. And to you, I say, maybe you should go to a teardrop rally. At the majority of teardrop rallies across the nation, teardrop owners are 55 and older, typically in the 60-65 range. And they have all, well, many of them, have experienced indoor toilets, have been in many different setups throughout their camping career, and in the end, they're choosing to go outside. Even Mandy Lee, who has lived in her tab trailer full-time for over five years, has not used her indoor toilet. Now, I think that's saying a lot, and it says there's alternatives, but I'm not saying this toilet is useless. It makes a great closet for Mandy and a way for her to stay more organized and keep things tidy and tucked away. Let's talk other similar trailers on the market. The first trailers would be fiberglass trailers like a Scamp or Casita. You can buy these used for about half the price of a tab trailer. Also, they come with true standing heights, for most adults that is. Be careful though, older models tend to be about six foot to six foot one, and the newer models are about six foot three, I believe. The lower heights of the earlier model scamps do come with some weight savings, which is why we were able to pull an older model scamp with our four cylinder vehicle. Also regarding fiberglass trailers, many of them come with bathroom layouts. Check out the description for links to our scamp videos below. The next group of trailers would be vintage trailers. Check out our link in the description where we put a scamp trailer and our vintage Shasta compact trailer head to head. This will give you a better understanding of the pros and cons of these different styles. Vintage trailers like fiberglass trailers have standing height, indoor cooking areas, and often have bathrooms. For a more modern trailer, I would point you towards the RKS off-road trailer. We have a walkthrough of that trailer that highlights the incredible size of the interior bathroom. Unless you're seven feet tall, this bathroom has plenty of standing height for you. A potential drawback on this trailer is that the living quarters are not standing height. Which leads me to the next trailer, which comes with an insane amount of headroom. Meet the Air Opus, an inflatable trailer with more headroom than anyone will ever need. It doesn't have a fancy toilet, but the indoor cassette toilet gets the job done. Click the link below for this walkthrough to see where they put the shower on this incredibly tall inflatable camper. Next, we have the Mantis from Taxa Outdoors. This is a tilt-up trailer with a canvas top. The beauty of this trailer is that it lives a lot larger than the Tab 320, but still fits in most standard size garages. This trailer also has a simple cassette toilet and unique shower inside. Link below for our walkthrough of this trailer. Oh, and I almost forgot the Meerkat, which I highlighted earlier in the video. I will link that walkthrough below as well, especially being it weighs almost 1,000 pounds less than the Tab 320. So for those of you with smaller tow vehicles, this might be the trailer for you. 
If you are looking for a trailer of this size, you're going to need to know how to efficiently organize and pack your trailer. Watch this video right here to see how we stay organized in our vintage Shasta Compact. These 31 packing and organizing tips are going to ensure your family has a successful first camping trip. As usual, stay safe on the road and we will see you in the next episode.